Module 1, Objective 6, be able to define matter, elements, and isotopes, and identify each subatomic particle based on structure, location, charge, and mass. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Everything in our physical world is comprised of matter, and matter is, are made, is made of atoms. Atoms join together to form chemicals, and chemicals have varying characteristics. And it's these characteristics that ultimately determine the physiology at both the molecular and cellular levels. Atoms are comprised of a nucleus surrounded by an electron cloud. We have three subatomic particles in atoms. They are protons. Protons are found within the nucleus of the atom. They carry a positive charge and they have a mass unit of one. Neutrons are also found within the nucleus. They have a neutral charge and they also have a mass unit of one. Lastly, electrons. Electrons are found orbiting the nucleus within the electron cloud. Electrons are usually represented with a lowercase e with a negative sign. That negative sign denotes the fact that they're negatively charged. And they have a very low mass. In fact, it's so low that we're just going to consider it to be zero. So protons and neutrons are found within the nucleus of an atom, and electrons are found orbiting the nucleus within the electron cloud. The symbolism on the periodic table of elements is represented right here. Each element has a symbol. In this case, we're looking at carbon, which utilizes the symbol capital C. And along with the symbol, we have some numbers. The lower number is the atomic number. The atomic number is the number of protons. It also equals the number of neutrons and electrons in an electrically stable non-isotope atom. So atoms of carbon that are electrically stable and non-isotopes would have six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. The mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons, and that's the larger number of the two. For this example, the mass number is 12.001, and that would account for the number of protons and the number of neutrons. You might ask yourself, six protons plus six neutrons is 12 not 12.001. And this is where isotopes come into play. Sometimes we find atoms of carbon that have more than six neutrons. Some atoms of carbon will have six protons, seven neutrons, and six electrons. This extra neutron is going to increase the mass of the atom. And if you consider all the atoms of carbon in the world, the majority of them are going to be like we had noted before, six protons, six neutrons, and have an atomic mass of 12. But <clears throat> a very low number of them are going to be slightly heavier. And when you take that into account, that is where you actually get the 0 0.001 that is part of that atomic mass number that we find on the periodic table of elements. This is a list of the principal elements in the human body. Don't worry about memorizing these. We'll actually 
uh, learn them as we move through the material. We have lots of oxygen, lots of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen. Our bones are loaded with calcium and phosphorus and potassium. These are the principal elements. In addition to the principal elements, we also have trace elements, and we see them down here. And if you ever look on the back of a, a vitamin, a multivitamin bottle, you, you're going to find a lot of these trace elements like magnesium and iron and iodine. An element is a pure substance composed of atoms of just one kind. The atomic number or number of protons in the atom determines the chemical properties. And again, isotopes are versions of elements based on mass number. We talked about carbon-6 <clears throat> in which you have six protons and six neutrons, but there are a small number of carbon sevens in which you have six protons and seven neutrons. So when you count, or take into account rather, the fact that there is a very small percentage of carbon atoms that have either seven or sometimes even eight neutrons, you actually end up with that 12.001, accounting for the slight increase in, in, in weight. So carbon 7 and carbon 8, where 7 and 8 represent the number of neutrons, those are isotopes of carbon. And some isotopes are actually radioactive, and we refer to those as, as radioisotopes. We use those clinically at times.